Hey guys, welcome to Behind the Line, coming to you from behind the enemy, communist, socialist, Marxist lines of Washington State. And what I want to talk to you about today is the gubernatorial debate that occurred last night between Lauren Culp and Jay Inslee. And I want to talk about some of the lies that our incumbent governor spewed while he was up there on that debate. The first thing I want to hit on here is the uh, claim that Culp made that Inslee was paying a firm $164,000 a week to tell him what to say during the COVID pandemic. And uh, Inslee claimed he had no idea what Culp was talking about. Well, in fact, the Seattle Times ran an article, August 10th, 2020, that uh, a global consulting firm, McKinsey, lands a $5 million in coronavirus-related no-bid contract in Washington State. And, uh, in fact, they were providing him access to a governor's decision support tool. And that was meant to aid Inslee's decision-making as he gradually unlocked the economy. Uh, the state agreed to pay McKinsey for eight weeks of their services, and it cost approximately $1.3 million. So, yes, in fact... That was true, and I'm sure Inslee was well aware of that. All right, well, the next thing I want to hit on here is his uh, talking about mental health and how important that is to him, and he mentioned it several times during the debate uh, about cutting mental health, how the Republicans want to cut mental health, uh, Culp and Trump and all that. Well... In fact, Inslee, in April, when he started making cuts to the state budget due to COVID, one of the uh, single biggest cuts uh, that Inslee did right out of the get-go was $116 million in new money through 2023 for school counselors in high-poverty school districts. And that was run by the Seattle Times, uh, like I said, in April. And so... Uh, Here's a guy who's claiming that uh, people of color and uh, kids and mental health is so important to him. And yet the very first thing he cuts is something that's going to directly have a negative impact on all those people. That measure would have added 370 new counselors around Washington, according to the State Office of Fiscal Management. So uh, apparently mental health and uh, people of color in these high-poverty school districts aren't exactly that important to Inslee, as he claims. The other thing Inslee said was that uh, Washington State was rated number one for business uh, by CNBC and uh, some other group. And uh, what I found was a Forbes article that, yes, in fact, did rate uh, Seattle or Washington number one for business. Uh, except for business and living costs, in the article it said. So uh, it stated, it, it quoted, yes, business and cost of living is high. Uh, and they, in fact, come to this rating looking at a number of other things besides those two, uh, one being migration, and we do have a lot of people moving to Washington State. It's a beautiful state. There's a lot to do here, so there could be many reasons for coming here. They also, also look at uh, leisure activities, which, again, we have many outdoor activities in the state, which could be a big draw for people, and workplace tolerance, which, obviously, Washington State, uh, as far as things go in the workplace, is pretty tolerant. So, uh, you know, this may have been the case several years ago with the state being in this situation, but currently we are seeing a major exodus of business, especially from the Seattle area you know, due to taxes and the just generally unfriendly business climate. You've got Boeing, who just pulled probably 30,000 jobs out of the Everett area to go back to North Carolina. You've got Amazon moving out of Seattle after they just built a headquarters building there. And Microsoft is also moving some of its offices out of uh, Seattle. So, yeah, not so much number one for business anymore, I would have to say. Okay, one of the other things that came up last night was uh, this situation with CHOP or CHAZ that happened up in the Capitol Hill neighborhood of Seattle. 
Uh, Inslee was asked at a press conference shortly after that was created, uh, you know, if what he thought about it. And he stated that he, that was news to him and he didn't know what the, what the reporter was talking about. So last night he was questioned uh, about this and claimed that uh, he did know what was going on, uh, said that he did not remember ever saying that. Um, he said that he had sent the National Guard in immediately because he knew about CHOP. And in fact, that is not true. The rioting started on May 29th. Uh, he received a request from Mayor Durkin for the National Guard, which uh, he activated the National Guard on May 30th due to that request. And uh, the CHOP zone did not actually... Uh, was not actually created until June 8th. So his activating the National Guard at Durkin's request on the 29th, or correction, on the 30th, had nothing to do with the CHOP zone. So this is just another lie. Inslee doesn't know what he's talking about. Trying to cover up um, and act like he didn't say what he said. All right, well, something else that uh, Inslee liked to hit on last night was the whole climate situation and and how he's fighting for the climate and all these things are affected by the climate, the fires and, and whatnot. Well, uh, Salmon came up at some point during the uh, debate and Inslee claimed that our salmon were dying from acidic and uh, warm ocean water. And in fact, uh, we just had a, an article come out in the last few days uh, about our salmon runs. They're actually returning very strong in the last few years. And uh, they were so good last year that uh, the state is actually talking about having a summer chum season, which we haven't had for a long time. And they're also talking about taking summer chum off the endangered species list, which has never happened. And uh, according to the article, last year's runs were in the thousands and 100% natural. So just another sign that Inslee doesn't know what's going on in his own state and is looking for excuses and trying to blame the climate for things that just is not true. Okay, the last thing I want to bring up about this uh, debate last night was uh, something Culp had mentioned where he said that Inslee had withheld money uh, from nursing homes. The, the feds had sent uh, $29 per day per patient for nursing homes to uh, obviously help with the struggle that nursing homes were going through through the pandemic. And uh, that is actually true. On August 25th, there was an article written that stated that uh, the state had withheld $24 of the $29 per day per patient provided by the feds for nursing homes. Uh, and the state claimed that this was due to budget tightening. Now, Inslee has gone on and on about grandma and grandpa since this thing started and about how important the elderly are and, and we need to protect them. And I mean, you've heard it all. And Elderly are obviously, especially in nursing homes, some of the most vulnerable to this COVID situation. And yet he cuts money to help them. He probably put that money to something else, I would assume. But how important are the elderly really to him if he's going to take almost all of that money that the feds provided for them and put it to something else? Are you starting to get the picture about this guy yet? All right, folks. Well, that's pretty much all I've got about last night's debate. Inslee proved himself to be a liar and doesn't really know what he's talking about. I think Culp held his own against Inslee. If you haven't watched the debate, you should. You can find it on YouTube. There'll be links up on our Facebook page behind the line. Uh, you can watch it there. But uh, I hope... I hope you're really considering voting for the right guy when the election rolls around. And Ensley is not it. And all just a side note, Ensley was just rated the worst governor in the United States for fiscal responsibility. Is that really the guy that you want running this state? Think about it, folks. 
Until next time.